Kip, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Those sweet, sweet live shows. Woo! About to be kicking in a high gear. It's a stand up comedy show with a little AYG that we play with the crowd. Great way to introduce new people to the show. Mm -hmm. So grab the squad, grab the homies, grab the bozos, grab your best girl, grab your best guy, and come out and see us. Yeah, guys. Uh, first date is going to be Red Bank, New Jersey. That it will sell out. Let's Get go. those tickets. And we're in Seattle, Portland, Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis, Nashville. Come on. And up there to Indy. Get your tickets. Like the big man said, it's a great time. These live shows are bonkers. You've seen the clips. Link in the description. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, uh, yeah. Little show we <laughs> I got him. Take that, Tony. <laughs> ah, we're having a good time. Little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out that you're up to be classy mm -hmm. or to just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Tate Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. A little bit of a somber mood upstairs with her. Oh, no. Just cut off the phone with her lawyer. Okay. It turns out that they, uh, she's going to have to drop the case that she has against uh, the good people at 7-Eleven. Oh, no. Turns out they caught her putting the cup of coffee in the microwave before she threw it into her own face. Okay. So the lawsuit's dead. But we still got the CVS thing working out, so it could be a short house in our future. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. Oh, this is a family <laughs> episode. <laughs> Ooh, we got to do a better screening job on these writers. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Holy cow. My co-host is the CEO, the uh, founder, the executive producer of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's the prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boards, baby. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Somebody's angling for a raise. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Trader up! Cooking! And then, obviously, head over there, pull up the computer, fire up the Dell, the Gateway, whatever you got, the MacBook, www.patreon.com. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG every week. You get bonus episodes of Hard Feelings by the week, which is the runaway pod of the century, Gold, I would say. Golden Globe nominated. Yeah, that's like the real behind this. If you like this show, that mm -hmm. one gets real fucking wonky. It's like gun smoke over yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of yelling, a lot of finger pointing, a <laughs> lot of icing. It's the show behind the show. Check it out. Yeah. And if, nine you, yards. if you do sign up for the Patreon there, make sure you got your bit rate turned up because there's a lot of product over there that you can Ooh. fucking download right in. Right into your home, right into your brain. Mm -hmm. Terabytes. Terabytes. Where's that? I don't know. Oh. Sounds like a... <laughs> so where's that? I thought it was a restaurant. <laughs> Trying to get a table of terabytes for two months. Drop my name. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes yeah. us all look good. We love him. You love him. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? Looking fresh, looking stylish, looking chill. Thanks, dude. Just want to give a quick shout out to all the boneheads out there. Oh, <laughs> boo. Who's the bone? Boo. <laughs> Shout out to the Boneyard. <laughs> All the boners out there. Oh, man. You're <laughs> getting a lot of love in the streets, man. Listen, I don't hate it. I got to be honest with you. Well, I wanted to hate it at first glance. Ooh. Kippy loves a good name. Man. <laughs> You're going to be open up for Dave Matthews with a name like that. Hey, man. Shout out to Lawrence at the Motion City Soundtrack Show. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's good stuff. That's the good Boneheads. Time. Well, put it on a t-shirt. We'll see how it does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Toby buys six of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let the market dictate the demand. Uh, yeah. This is capitalism at its finest, baby. Yes, sir. Gang family episode. We're here. I uh, went to the gastro guy today, the gastrologist over there. Okay. You ever get a good doctor and you're like, fuck, man, you're fucking awesome. And it's, sure. it's just fucking great. I got a little nervous when I walked in there. When I went to give him my copay, fifty dollars, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Cash only. <sighs> Cash only at a dive. What is it? A dive bar? <laughs> what? What? Where you had fucking a hula hands? 
A cash only at a doctor. That's no bueno. Dude, no shit. No, no, no. A dentist, maybe. I could see that with a dentist. But cash only at a doctor's uh, office? What's a credit card machine? <laughs> you look down? over, there's an ATM machine. <laughs> Wax you over the head for five beans for the fucking surcharge. <laughs> I, five beans at the machine, five beans. My bank charged me getting fucking hemmed up. Uh, that's, it, that's, like a, that's strip club stuff. Here's the thing. There was an ATM out uh, in the hall. Of course there was, dude. But he's awesome, man. What part of Queens was it? Because it wasn't Manhattan. I'll tell you that much. This has fucking Barrow written all over it. <laughs> that was in deep Kentucky. Ah, um, that's no good. Yeah. I mean, I get that he's a nice guy and everything. No, he's a great doctor, though. Um, yeah. he's. he's really... How big is his pinky ring? <laughs> what do you mean? That's crazy, dude. That's insane. Shouldn't you have gloves on? <laughs> nah, nah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Man. Well, you've been getting strange lately? Sounds like you got some good insurance over there. <laughs> oh, man, I don't. <laughs> my Metro card and my insurance card are the same card. Yeah. My uh, my wife keeps going to doctors, and I don't have the heart to tell her that, like, what our coverage is no bo- She's used to German universal health care. You go whatever for whatever. She's whatever. on there with yours. Yeah, and I got, like... I got like I got like collision. That's all I got. You know, what I, mean? I got like just in case I hit somebody else type thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got for bar fight purposes. <laughs> Two black eyes a year covers <laughs> and a boxer's break. Holy uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> but she's going to all these doctors. Kippy's not getting Tommy John surgery. No, no, he's the guy doing it. <laughs> uh, she's going all like you know. She goes for checkups and this and that and you know. When's the last time you were at a doctor? How long? I mean, I don't want to talk about really? it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, 15, 20 years. You're probably good then. The last doctor I went to, that is a lot. Of, I'm probably good then. That's your logic. Well, yeah, once you get over the hump, you're good. <laughs> right? If you haven't broke down now, you're coasting. The last doctor I, my, the last doctor I was actually like, I, don't, I guess assigned to isn't the word, but my last doctor, my last like doctor I've seen more than once, put it that way, uh, was my pediatrician. And I went way Way too late in life to my Jesus. pediatrician. Yeah, mm-hmm. hit that toy chest, huh? <laughs> you know, sitting on a race car. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been to an actual doctor. I think I went for a physical, maybe when, like right when I got out of college. Hmm. Maybe to get a job or insurance or something like that. Hmm. Trying to join the force? What's going on? <laughs> they make you get a. They make you get a physical for a job? No, it might have been like. What are you, a stunt man? <laughs> About to jump the Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah, I never heard of such a thing. No, I think I was enrolling on my job's insurance, and maybe like I hadn't had a physical in like five years. So oh, like, okay. In order to get enrolled, you know, you have to. Yeah. They I think make, I had to do. I think that was it. They make you go. But you ever go? Like, anytime you go, I guess it's older as you get older. It's different. You go to a different doctor. You walk in. You're like, you know, this ain't what I'm used to. Nah, it's no good, uh-uh. man. It's no it's good. Like a jack shack. Yeah. Other than the ATM machine and and, and the cigarette <laughs> cigarette <laughs> and machine the, and the crabs game going on <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> Dude, don't stop going to that guy. <laughs> play pin, play pinball while you wait. <laughs> you, you walk in, put a stack of quarters on the pool table. I'll be back in twenty. I got next. I'm in line, Daddy O. Holy shit! Achi oh, machi. Oh, he's put me under the knife uh, in August. For what? I'm gonna get an endoscopy. Get the get the pipes checked out. Then we're gonna go back and do a colonoscopy. Get it all worked out. Okay. All right. Well, like Chinese finger cuffs. I got them coming on both ends. <laughs> this is very Patreon content, by the way. We're letting the good people on <laughs> iTunes and YouTube hear about your butthole. <laughs> this is stuff they got to pay for, all right? That's Patreon.com. Timo, he would have closed up, but he never does. <laughs> Uh, um, people say that's their favorite ongoing bit. I call for a close up, and Toby never goes to it. And you don't get it. Love a good bit. You don't put your uh, gum in, in your drink, right? We've we've discussed that. Yeah. No. What? No, you don't put it in a soda. You don't like bubble like back in the day. You don't like bubble gum at the bottom of the soda. When I don't it gets like. Hard. No, that ruins the what? It's like it like makes it it makes it. Like I understand new gum what it again. does. That's not new gum. It's hard. Gum is soft. You always say that it makes it new again. It revitalizes the flavor. No. Okay. It does not. Well, by accident, well, I spit my gum out in a Pellegrino bottle a couple of days ago, and I've gotten into the bad habit of just drinking whatever drink is in the car, unless it unless it's been oh, like, like old back seat drinks. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember that Red Bull you got me last week? Yeah. I finished that off yesterday around two ish. Because it wasn't really that hot. It wasn't hot. If it's really really hot, You're it's like in a there. raccoon. <laughs> 
for energy drinks. <laughs> that's yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, it's that's, in there. You get, that's how you get botulism and shit. I don't think so. I don't think it's you the know, only thing you got to worry about is if it gets really hot in the car, you could the 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 microplastics can get into water. That's already happening. I think. Oh, I know. Don't you know it, brother? <sighs> We're either coming or going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so you should stop to find a new doctor and stop doing that. Okay. Well, I signed a year contract with him. Before. <laughs> 12 month lease. First last security. Get a free cell phone, though. And I don't have to change my number. <laughs> uh, guys, this is a family episode. Yes, As you sir. know, when you sign up for that there, Patreon, uh, the, the aforementioned greatest website of all time, mm-hmm. uh, you will we will answer your garbage question. On the air. On the air. On mm-hmm. the air. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. People are loving it. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. This one, uh, this is from T.T. Jerry's Tuna Can. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chrissy D. And, Shout uh, out to Chrissy D and the whole squad the over whole there. the whole squad over there. Um, never had, this isn't a question, more of a story Yes, Never had one yes. read. Been here a long time, $10 homie. I got hit by a car in eighth grade. My parents must have got the worst legal team ever because they only squeezed the person for 1300 <laughs> For hitting a kid? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, then my parents turned around and took half of it to fix the roof of the mobile home we lived in. Ooh, ooh. That's bad. Dude, you get fucking hit by a Toyota, you only get 600 after tax. Talk about taking one for the team, huh? Uh, yeah. That's real. That sucks, man. We had a kid got news. hit eighth, seventh, eighth grade skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking mulch pretty bad. Were you with him? Did no, you this? no, no, no. I didn't witness it. Uh, he got he got fucking ran over and like he's fine now. Uh, shout out. Uh, but he got like a couple hundred jihads. Couple hundy? Couple hundy. What, 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 Wet his beak right then. I think his parents gave him like 10 or so. Like, he got some cash up front. Because they knew he was it was like coming? 13. No. So, like, he got the settlement. And obviously, when you're like fucking 13 or 14, like, your parents are going to go, well, here's, you know, 400K or whatever, 250 yeah. Gs. So Patty, they gave him a Patty little. Wouldn't. They gave him a little pl- to play with, not play with, whatever. Get a new bike. Get a fucking, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. How about a helmet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How about some elbow pads? So he got that, and then he, uh, then when he turned eighteen, he was able to really start you blowing know, through it. Yeah, oh, I'm I pretty bet. sure there's probably about zero of that yeah. left. Yeah, if I had to guess. Ooh, you mix a perk a perk noodle or two in there, you're in trouble. <laughs> Man, that's no good. It, I, it had to be like a FedEx or UPS or something. Oh, it was a woman. Insurance co- insurance company covered it. This broad had fucking, uh, usually the policy caps out at 100K, and this was fucking in the 2000s. I don't know, man. Damn. Yeah. I remember, they had Jackie I, I, Childs. <laughs> he got a good amount of scratch for it. It really fucks you up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she had money, too. It came from that. Who knows? Ooh, maybe. It was a nice neighborhood. Not L- really. It wasn't. Little hush money? It was on the outskirts of town. That's a good racket. People doing it all the time, jumping in front of cars. Yeah. Do it a lot in Europe. What? They no, do it- it's Russia. Russia? They do- yeah. Oh, that's what and they the do burden it. of proof. That's why there's so many dash cam videos in Russia. The burden of proof is on the driver. Mm-hmm. Like, if you go, that guy hit me, they go, all right. They just, like, book, you know. They just take throw, your word for it. Throw a couple of rubles your way. Yeah, so that's why everything. That's why there's so many dash cam videos because everybody's like, "Well, fuck this." Damn. Yeah. I heard a lot of them oligarchs came from that. Getting hit. <laughs> that's how they made their money. Slip and falls. <laughs> dash cam. Slip and fall oligarch. You hit me in your Hugo. <laughs> fucking ship the cheddar, will you? <laughs> Slip and fall to a nickel mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. I like the, not questions, the stories. I was just going to say, I love They're the nice, stories. It's, yeah. it's a little different, and you get like, that could never be a question. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way you could get that level of dirtbagness across. Dude, it's also, it's probably like 20 years ago, he's still upset about the 13 hunt, <laughs> which is fantastic. <sighs> um. All Stories right. Are all right. This one is from Katie. Ten dollar homie. Never had one read. It. Is yeah. it trash to add the letter T to the end of cousin? I'm looking at you, Kippy. Jesus. Yeah, I do say cousin. Cousin. My cousin. It's my not cousin. right. Yeah, but my cousin. What the fuck is that? Where are you from? <laughs> That's not a Philly thing. My cousin. Yeah. 
This guy's a spy. You know my cousin? Yeah, that's Philly for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, my cousin? All you right, know, there you, you go. You know my cousin? My cousin Mike? <laughs> Sells yeah. pills? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> yeah. Where's jean shorts and a white pair of sneakers in the winter? Yeah. Shout out to the Kensington Cruisers. <laughs> the Reebok Classic. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Ooh, I you... think I might have mentioned that I got a brand new pair of Kensing or a brand new pair of uh, Reebok Classics. I thought I was the shit. I How wrote. old are you? Thirteen. I'm surprised your mom let you wear them. What do you mean? Because, what do you mean? That's fucking that's dope head shit. Yeah, I mean, dressing like a dope head. Yeah. Patty was Patty knew all about that. She didn't let us wear that shit. Well, when it we really worked out for her, huh? <laughs> <laughs> If I if I had on white socks and they were pulled up to my shin, she'd freak out. <laughs> yeah, what are you a cholo? <laughs> <laughs> where are you parked a low rider? Who's doing that? No one's doing. You're crip walking the dinner and stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? High socks. <laughs> What's that represent? <laughs> What are you talking about? Ah, I just picture myself crip walking through Patty's house. <laughs> Putting holes in the floor. <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> Screaming at you. No guns at the table. <clears throat> Keep on dying. Well, I grew, I grew up in the era. I was a little kid in the era of high socks. before. It high meant, socks to me represented, I, I, I get it's the time period, but dorks. You wore your socks high. I was in a... I mean, it was ankle socks back when I was banging. You no, know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Now these cool TikTok kids with the floofy hair, they all wear the high socks. Yeah, they wear the high socks. And the short shorts. Don't think Ooh. I haven't noticed that. I, lo- I love the, because when I was in the 80s, like all the, like uh, Magic and all of them, all, all the basketball players, they wore their socks up to their knees and they had the stripes on them. Sure, yeah. They the were tube socks. F- yeah, they Proper were Proper tube. The red and the blue. Yeah. They were nice. So I, you know, I was caught but in between those like, two worlds. Was that drug representative gangs? No, High no, socks. not at all. But she knew that when people started wearing the Kensington Cruisers and, and, and the socks in the middle, she knew that that meant, you know, she, she, she'd been to, she'd been to Wanamaker's Christmas tree enough. She'd times. been around the block a couple yeah, times. She knew what was going on. Some scene, some seedy characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. You put those things on, you start nodding out immediately. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough look. But mm. I walked into Christmas one time. I felt so cool. My cousin Brendan hit me with the Kensington. <laughs> nice pair of Kensington Cruisers. I was devastated, <laughs> to say the least. Went home barefoot. <laughs> Man, the dudes in my family can hone in on something. That the one minor change you've made and say it so like... Not matter of fact, but also dismissively, like, you know, as you're hugging him, he's like, hey, cool haircut. You're like, oh, oh fuck. I rocked this thing just in here for a little bit. We've talked the about soul that. patch. Yeah. Just this. Ooh, man. I should have somebody's favorite. christening. Fucking ding, you, ding, ding, ding. You look like you're on meth. If you show up to a cr- somebody's, you, you just, not even your knee. I showed up to somebody's christening. It was, it was a friend of a friend of a friend. Hey, I showed up to someone's christening with my soul patch. It was a grown man. <laughs> it was in a lake. Man, that shit is so weird to me. That's got to be garbage. That's got to be a garbage question. We I, We've talked about it. Have you ever been baptized anywhere <laughs> other than... Uh, when you start getting outside the cities, they do that stuff. It's probably more religious and probably feels good to do it. Gave a Marco Polo going. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a pool, you idiot. I mean, they like, do it in the pool. Doug Smith. Yeah, no, previous I'm, guest. I'm talking about and crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Shout to Doug. Dougie, listen, I love you, Doug. <laughs> uh, no, but in a river or a pond. And Doug Smith's a good-looking guy too. Sweet-looking oh, kid, man. He has. I'd four, like to take a run at him. He has 1940s movie star eyes. Uh-huh. They're that kind of blue. Yeah, it's For, real like Daniel Day Lewis has like. Yeah. A lot of character in the face. Yeah, I think I mentioned him last week or not, but uh, Dylan McDermott has those kind of blue eyes. Mm-hmm. You've been mentioning Dylan McDermott for, I don't know, about two and a half years. I don't know who he is. Dude's hot. Keeps it tight. He was in Hamburger Hill. He was in... Uh... Always food with you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was in Ice Cream Lane. He know. was in Hamburger Hill. He the, was the main guy in American Cheese Horror Cheesesteak Avenue. Yeah, 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 I think I know. I guess I know. I don't Super know. good looking dude. T-Bone, you got him? Yeah, he's the guy who's, who you see in a movie and you're like, oh, yeah, that guy. That guy. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Wasn't he like, so, uh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Not to be confused with Dermot Mulrooney. He can kick rocks. I don't know who that is. <laughs> First name Dermot. <laughs> no, thanks. Buddy. Nah, he's good. He's good. He's no Dylan. McNair. I remember some kid hit me one time in elementary school. We were beefing, right? You know? Yeah. Uh, going back and forth. Going back and forth, yapping, you know? <laughs> 
Um, well, fat kid like you, I would have kept your my mouth shut. Me? Yeah. I think that's. I mean, that was obviously the go-to of. You were ready for that. Yeah. What? Come on. <laughs> uh, but the kid hit me with. <laughs> Throw a slim jim. Catch that in the air. <laughs> <laughs> now you're all in big, big trouble. <laughs> He hit me with, at least my mom could afford to buy me a last name. Ooh. Uh-huh. Get that guy on the show. <laughs> That's fucking nice. Yeah, but it, no didn't, shit. it didn't hit. It was more like, what's this guy? Like, I get that every once in a while. He has two first names. It doesn't click to me. For some reason, Ryan, though I know it's a first name, sounds like a perfect. <laughs> Do you? Sounds like a perfectly, perfect, perfectly reasonable last name. Maybe because it's the you just, Irish. You've heard it so much, yeah. Well, yeah, and also, too, my cousins, their last name is Ryan. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. It's not a very common. I mean, Nolan Ryan, Meg Ryan, Ooh. Kippy Kevin James Ryan. Meg Ryan. A.K.A. K.J. A.K.A. K.J. Kev. Kev. Yeah. Kev never took off. Kev, Kev sells weed. Kev's no good. Kev's no When we go camping, you'll be Kev. That's a, that's a Kev part I of had town. a picture today, because we're closing in on that fucking, that goal. And I th- the idea today of us going to fucking dicks and, like, fucking gearing the fuck up for that mm. is going to be so much fun. Can yeah. we get hatches and machetes? Oh, we're getting everything. What about those pants that go up so you can go in the river? The waders. Yeah. Yeah, you can shower in them if you want. Okay, let's talk about Butcher Box, baby. Butcher Summer Max. grilling season is upon us. Do in you, full swing. Do you want to have garbage that you get from the fucking grocery store? Do you want to have free-range chicken, free-range turkey, wild-caught salmon, fucking ground beef that's grass-fed, grass-finished? Mm-hmm. Talking about top-quality meat. All in one delivery system to your door in a freezer. Get ready to go when you're ready to grill. Yeah, gang. Do not be a bozo when you're trying to throw a barbecue this summer. You don't want to ruin Fourth of July. Nope. You know, are you a patriot or what? You don't want to do. You don't want to. Uh-huh. You, you don't want to ruin Fourth of July for the whole goddamn family. All right. Putin to win. Do it right. Uh, every month, Butcher Box ships out a curated selection of high quality meat right to your home. Free shipping for the continental U.S. No antibiotics, no hormones, packed fresh, ship frozen for convenience so you can save time and money on your next grocery store trip. High quality meat, delicious, 100% grass fed, free range chicken, pork raised, crate free, and wild caught seafood. Look at that. Check it out. Uh, at an unbeatable value, it's less than $6 per meal on average. Look at that. Hashtag, what are we doing? Yeah, there you go. Uh, get summer sizzling started with this special butcher box offer for our listeners. Free bacon for life. Holy shit, <laughs> they're mean, doing what? bacon now? We're back. Free These bacon guys for are life. Boncos. With a membership plus $10 off, sign up at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to get one free pack of bacon in every butcher box for the life of your membership plus $10 off your first order. That's butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to claim a steal. Do it. Now back to the show. Back to the show. (laughs) Full camo, maybe an orange hat to to, to let the other hunters know I'm there. Yeah, no shit. (laughs) Not getting fucking, not taking one to the back of the head thinking I'm I'm a rhino. (laughs) Yeah, some weekend warrior with a 22 (laughs) and a bad shot. Fucking trick. You're happy. And also, you got to be careful with the camo, too. That's how a fucking moose will sneak up on you. You got to wear that orange shit. Let also, them know. Also, 2P, they're a uh, deer. Do you ever see those videos of- Oh, fuck. I forgot. What? Fucking ticks, man. I ain't going up Jeez, there. Ticks, man. <laughs> We're sleeping in a camper, you bozo. Uh, we got to get some off. Or some anti-tick repellent. Maybe I'll get one of them collars. <laughs> I, I got some pills at the house for Hansi. I'll feed you. Take one. I'm starting out. You got to take one every month. Yeah, like I don't 15. like ticks. Got deer up there. But if you pee, there's deer urine. You can buy deer urine to attract them, right? I don't want to attract them. I know, but hunters do. That's why you can go buy deer urine. Yeah, with buckies, they sell it. Yeah, and they attract. Do you ever see the videos of, like, deer fucking dudes up? Yeah. And that's all because they, you know. Yeah. Too much deer urine. Yeah. Put some 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 deer juice on you. Mm-hmm. Dudes start showing up looking look to party. Yeah. No good. Yeah. yeah. We should have, I wish there was a Bucky's around here. Could really gear up at Bucky's. Could gear up at Bucky's. We're going to go to Dick's or something. Really fucking. Get a fishing pole, a couple pocket knives, some fucking axes, a couple coolers, some hats, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Maybe a flare gun. You don't think? A flare gun? We're going to get. Fuck yeah. We're going to a campsite. So? Shit goes down. You're going to end up shooting the neighbor. <laughs> Put all the snacks in a bag right now. You use it in a holdup. We get hemmed up. We start puffing smoke. <laughs> let, let the boys from the National Guard know we're still here. <laughs> Come get us and bring some sandwiches. 
We definitely got to get bear spray. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. And handcuffs. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Sexual preferences? Cuff the bear. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um... All right, this is the Tebow one. I think we have touched on this first time, long time from Josh. Uh, is it garbage to go to eat at a restaurant and bring your own hot sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? I yeah. feel like it's a little condescending as well of like, I'm not going to like whatever you have. I'm bringing this from home. Does it's, it, like, it's a dick move to me. I mean, some re- when you get to a certain level, rest, like, does Gallagher's have hot sauce in there? I would say no. no. Hot sauce isn't for like good food. It's for like street food, chicken fingers, tacos, sure, burritos, sure, that kind of shit. Like an ice. I was putting hot sauce on a sriracha on a steak. Where'd the place you guys go? You and the the Rubinoff's porch. Where'd you go? Peasant. 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 No, they don't. No hot sauce. I would. Yeah. Yeah. They're not bringing. You know, they're not like. What about like TGI Fridays in them? They have. They got a bottle of something on the table, sure, don't the they? Tabasco's. Okay. Thing, yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking dickhead move. Not a dickhead. move. But yeah, that's that's garbage. Yeah, and it's not classic. And it it's also just... means that you're eat, only eating in places that that would have hot sauce. Like if you're bringing your hot sauce to a fucking place to like a nice restaurant that doesn't have their own hot sauce, that's insane. I think taking it to me, taking it anywhere is proper crazy. If you went out on a nice date, you and the wife and another couple at a nice restaurant, you know, maybe like a Nobu or a fucking Gallagher's or something like that, and the and the and the dude pulled out hot sauce. What did I was with? Yeah. Oh, we'd move tables. I would be. That would be the end of that. That my wife does it. It is. It isn't uh, on the other. It is an old school thing. You know. I bet you we know a lot of people that do it. I bet you a lot of. I bet you there's some bozos out there that do it. My wife. We go to this uh, every time we're in Germany. We go to this uh, Arician, I believe it's pronounced African uh, restaurant in Frankfurt. Okay. It's really good. It's a mother and a son own it and run it and it's like fucking it's one of those things that comes out on like a big circle and like you take the bread and it's just piles of stuff and i got fucking, you ethiopian food yeah but i think it's a i think it's this is a reach but it's the same concept yeah same concept as ethiopian um somebody just mentioned ethiopian food to me the other day can't remember who it was said it was awesome can't remember where it was. you never had it never had ethiopian Ooh, food do yourself a favor yeah, you huh? would love really? it eat with my hands yeah uh-huh there you go Pay my um, masterpiece. It's great. It's just a bunch of little piles of stuff. A little of this, a little of that. It's all different kind of meats. Mm. Very good. Hachi, machi. And it's on like a crepe style uh, piece of bread. That's what this person said. I can't fucking believe it. I can't remember who I was talking to about it. Um, But she sneaks in, and I didn't know. We've gone a handful of times. Now I just know that she does it. The bird did this? I know. Your wife? Yeah. Cause, Wait, what? Yeah, because some of the stuff's hot. Yeah? And she, uh, so she sneaks in like a yogurt <laughs> that she uses to put on it. But I'll give it to her. She. This gets- is our head financier. I know. <sighs> Listen, we we go out to dinner with Ted Soros or something <laughs> like that. She can't be ripping out a fucking thing of Chobani. I don't care what we're having. Uh, but she does ask. She does say, "Hey, it's a little hot." Some of the stuff is a little hot, and I need the, the you know, whatever. What kind of yogurt? Go, of Strawberry <laughs> banana? <laughs> Frozen? Um, Strawberry. Shout out to strawberry <laughs> banana yogurt. That's fucking all Patty thought there was. Oh, this gogurt's medicinal. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dannon, it's in the little, it's in the little shooter. <laughs> oh, those little shooters, there's never enough of them things. Um, Drinkable yogurt, but now we we've, we've gone so many times that she she's done it. They know that like she brings it. Just, I, I, listen, I does she do it at other places? No, no, no. Oh, only okay. there. Only they don't have yogurt back there. No, they don't have it. That's I what, they would. I know. I know. The first time she did it, dude, she reached into her purse and pulled out like a pint of yogurt, and I almost flipped the fucking table, dude. I was, uh because also in your in New I York, I, I can't believe you stayed with her. To be honest with you, <laughs> get a little bit of cash. I need, I needed to at the time. She was picking up the check. What do you want? <laughs> can't be married for money. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt money. Uh, um, uh. But also, that's a problem. That's a New York thing too. Our major city. I think it's becoming. You know, the nicer restaurant, you sit on fucking top of each other in these restaurants. Mm-hmm. I fuck. It drives me crazy. 
Yeah, it's Where wild. like if you sneak, you gotta like, oh, excuse me, to like get to yeah. your seat. It's like. They do the, the bench. They communal. do the bench seats around the thing. That's where you get. Yeah, the big up. booth, and then they just stack a hundred two seaters right yeah. there, and you're like, "Fucking!" It might as well be Thanksgiving dinner with strangers. Yeah, I fucking. Hate, I feel like they're listening to me. They're hearing me plot. They're hearing me talk shit about you. You know, the whole nine yards. Jesus. Eh, what are you gonna do? Kippy, um, Kippy's over here at terabytes talking shit about Foley. <laughs> get the terabytes now. Uh, this one's just proper nuts. Uh, this is from Kyle. Is it garbage to wear a catheter for a road trip so you don't have to stop and pee? My dad drove from Massachusetts to Virginia to pick up my sister from college and refused to stop to pee. That's crazy persons. That's what that, that astronaut woman did with the diapers. That's even, do you know what a catheter exactly, he's got to jam that up his urethra. I'm aware it's a medical procedure. And apparently it's like that he's super. he's doing in a station wagon. He's super. <laughs> With a spork. Uh, yeah, fuck <laughs> so, that. Yeah, it's painful. Some of those mouth wipes after you get ribs. It's very painful. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Like, that's like most dudes who go in for surgeries. Was she wanted or something like that? I mean, just picking her up. Man, that's that's like, that's crazy. That's, that's wild. That's stuff. That's like you've been a dad for too long. You can't pull over and take a leak. We're making great time. If somebody would, if some, <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind a semi. I'm drafting here. I fucking pull over. I'm saving three miles per three. Connie, miles per here, hour. empty the bag, will you? That's crazy. I mean, if somebody's looking for you, if there was some kind of time constraint, just because you didn't feel, I'm not stopping. A, a P is made. A P from stop, from pull in, could rest be five stop, minutes. Park. Maybe wait in line, whatever. If there is a line, it will pull back out seven minutes tops. Like, prop. That's if you do a little stretch, maybe some of these or whatever. That's to not have seven minutes in like a. It's not like you're adding seven minutes to a 15 minute drive and you're like, oh, this is doubling it or whatever. That's nuts. That's got to be a fucking. What was it? Massachusetts to Virginia's got to be like a 10 hour drive. Dude. I would have stopped and stayed the night somewhere. I know. I would have broken that up. Yeah, I know. I, and I tell you, I was just going to say that you do stop way more than I would. And, Driving? And I like I like it. Yeah, On the road. So yeah, I'm going to well, stop and stretch my legs for a little bit. Get out. Rip a Yeah, I like. Uh, Grab some peanuts. Uh, yeah, I like to stretch my legs a little bit. It's you know good. I mean? It's also it's like. good. We're never super. Hem- when we're driving from city to city, we're never super hemmed up on time. And it's mm. like. Also, I knew it was this fucking guy. Jesus Christ, Dad. Maybe. You never know. Also, when we're on the road, a sometimes catheter. it gets a little too... I got to shake it up because I'm in there. A little you, stale in the car? Yeah, you might, you're on your phone or you're fucking old man nodding off. T-Bones. T-Bones in the back fucking hacking. You know what I mean? He's hardwired in. Fucking, we got Tommy fucking... Little Bo Peep doesn't... Mum's the word with that fucking kid. Those, they're back so there. I'm just they're sitting back in there a, I'm sitting in a, Yeah, and that's fine. But sometimes we do go a stretch of like 40 minutes where it gets mad quiet and I'm up there fucking dozing off. I'm like, I got a fucking, you got the fucking AC cooking. I'm over there like fucking nodding out. I, I didn't get a great night's sleep. I had about fucking 19 beers the night before. I got rain sounds playing on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking. Yeah, it's just like, dude, I'm like, I got to fucking, whoo, let's fucking shock the system here. Let's get the fuck out. Splash some gold water on my face. It's also like, it's not like we're making lefts and making rights. We're on a fucking highway for like 150 Uh, miles. Dude, I've been there, man. You're just looking at the same thing and your brain starts fucking wandering. When the caffeine just stops working, Uh, uh, it's the worst. There's only so many cups. So I got got to stretch the legs. I got to feel the heat from the outside, some fresh air. And it also, it wakes you idiots back up. Oh, what a style. What are you going to get? I'm like, ah, oh, cool. Let's do a heater. And then we stop, and then we get back in, and we start shitting on the town that we just stopped in. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a conversation. And then about 45 minutes later, you guys all pass back out. I'm going to do it all over again. Shout out to Barcelona, PA. Barcelona, PA. It's all right. Walleye tournament. You want to no. go back for that? Maybe that's where we go camping. Go back for the tourney. That's not a bad idea. We When's go to Barcelona. Tourney? I don't really think I still have the brochure on me. I don't know, but did you see those fucking... They weren't Amish or they weren't Mennonites because they hopped out of a car, had normal clothes on, but they had the Mennonite haircut and beard, which are Amish haircut and beard. Kevin, they were Dominican. (laughs) Which was a weird vibe (laughs) where it's like, how do you only hang on to the haircut and the beard? The haircut's the worst part. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. It looks like y'all did it in the dark together. 
It's like you're wearing <laughs> fucking regular jeans and fucking sunglasses. Yeah, and you got fucking the fucking hit a haircut. Or you're you? you're rolling around with the St. Jude cut. Uh, Get out of here tough. with that. Yeah, you still got the COVID cut going. <laughs> like, you, like you did it in your bathroom. I don't get that. You're talking about the bangs that come down. The ha- bangs and then the Jebediah beard. That thing. No. They, those three dudes, when we were in wherever we were, those three dudes hopped out of a, a new pickup truck. It wasn't even like a buggy or anything. It's looking like the Shroots. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was real beat farmer vibes. Moe's. Shout out to Moe's. Oh, Moe's Dude, was all Moe's right. Moe's is running next to the car. And they're pulling up to the far. Was that your, was that, that might have been the first introduction. Did you ever see that episode? I, I think I know what you're talking about. They're pulling down and they're like, yeah, this is Shrewd Farms or whatever. Then Moe's is just running at full speed next to the car, looking in the window. <laughs> and he's like, God damn it. <laughs> Moses has real uh, neighbor from the Burbs vibes. Yeah. Remember the son in that? Who was sure. eating the sardine? Ooh, sure. The sardine and fucking saltine cracker sammies. Let me ask you this. Let's take it up a notch. Let's get in the contest. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to fucking tailgate the wall. I'm getting in there. I'm oh, fine okay. I'll get a captain. Let's do it. Let's go. We'll get the fishing license it? and what everything. I think we just missed. Fuck. God yeah. damn it. He said it was coming up. Thank God. I didn't feel like doing any of that shit. But let's do a fishing tournament. That might be the next thing. We'll do like a proper fishing tournament. I know a couple guys who could do a deep sea fishing tourney. What are they biting on? Skittles. I was in a deep sea fishing tournament, and that's when that first time, the first time, the only time uh, I saw Gallagher live. He was the entertainment for the show, and he walked out. It was a very fancy, very expensive uh, fishing tournament. Was he doing it on the boat? No, it was like a, there was like a huge tent for entertainment. It was like a big buffet and then a huge wow. tent, like huge, like fucking football field size. You know, that's Gallagher. Tent, and He's probably selling tickets. Back he was then. just fucking taking out bite-sized Snickers and a tennis racket and wailing them into the crowd and just fucking beaming people in the head. And I remember being like, this guy, and I was like 13. I'm like, this guy's past his prime, I think. This, this guy, this is a money grab for this dude. Are these new bits? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, his heart's not in it, man. I can tell. Smash the watermelon, dickhead. Let's go. <laughs> Get on the roller skates. Let's do it. <laughs> We're not paying for the new crap. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Mm. This one's from, uh, I can't even pronounce it. Transylvania or something like that. Is it garbage to use this one? Guy, uh, this one kind of blew my mind. Is it garbage to use the cardboard carrier from an old six pack as a condiment organizer in the fridge? That is the smartest thing I think I've ever heard. It is. That's they kind of do it at like bars, you... like pubs or whatever. Oh, six pack. All right, I'm thinking twelve pack of cans. That's just a box in the fridge. Oh man, that's bad. <laughs> Might as well use a shoe box. We have to go. You're like, oh, really? A shoe box. <laughs> you got a fucking set of Nikes in there. Oh, but if I went for a fucking cold Miller Lite and there was cucumbers or something Butter. in there, I'd freak out. No, Holy a six shit. pack. So it's like, yeah, that's cool. That's that's smart. Because that, if you keep them on the door and there's not enough, if you keep, it gets real jiggly. They fall. It's it's not fantastic. I'm doing this when I get home. That's something you got. All this on my you, what my wife. You, you, you got <laughs> a place for a yogurt. You got to you got to keep those fresh though. You can't just that's not that's not a one one. That's not for the whole summer. No, nah, monthly probably. Monthly, it all spills right. Spills or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um. Hachi machi. That's a really good idea. That kind of blew my fucking my tits off. Big debate that's been going on over at the Foley household is. Uh, is it trash to just set the toilet paper on top of the roll? When I, because we'll, obviously, we'll, yeah. But when you, but it's it's better. No, it's it, trash. No, listen, it's better to fucking roll it in your hand. I know. Uh, do you want my opinion on? I understand where you're going. Because sometimes it pulls, it rips. I like fucking <laughs> right in my hand, do my. thing. I know, but then the problem, the issue with that is everybody's shit fingers are all over that thing. The left hand doesn't have shit fingers. Uh, listen, it's you're getting poop on your left hand. I'm not getting poop. What are you? What, what, what are you um, wiping with both hands? No, I'm just saying. But like, that's your gra- you're handling a thing that shouldn't be handled. That's my that's my germaphobe thought process on it. Is you should just pull, rip. If everybody is pooping, let's say you got a house full of foley's all going in there. You're not fucking. You're not sanitized. You're not doctors in there. You're not scrubbing in and out. All mm-hmm. right. A lot of pass. Oh, it's over here. It's there. 
It's a lot of poop particles floating around. To me, I don't like it. Hmm. If you go to a public stall and that's sitting there, I'm going... I like that better. I don't have to reach for it. It doesn't pull. It's what do you like, reach for? This is crazy. I understand what you're saying, but like you have, I have to reach for it. It's it's never on the other side of the room. You don't have to waddle over to it. It's fucking right there. Toby, is your toilet paper thing on the toilet paper dispenser? Yes, with an asterisk. Ooh. So it's on the thing, but the way my <laughs> I use my hand. <laughs> 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 toilet paper but the way that the door opens it opens in front of like it's it's the toilet paper rolls you across close from the you. door when you poop you live alone no okay so that one's just for show but i got i got the real deal on the back of the toilet there you go wait. there you go oh you use the one on the back of the toilet that's fine wait yeah, can, yeah, call, let me ask you this can you reach the toilet paper dispenser from your toilet i could if the door was closed <laughs> which it is not wait if the door was closed so it co- the door covers it <laughs> yeah that's trash. Yeah, that's tough. You can't reach it. It's, it's by the sink. Holy shit. I also made the move of buying like a giant thing of like 35 rolls of toilet paper off Amazon or whatever. That's just that's just bags right there. Just right on the floor. Easy yeah, access. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of co- of, for sure. For sure. I Trust me. I'm not saying I'm, uh, you know, not. Uh, I don't fall victim to that. Sure. Especially in, in the moment. Because you. I don't think in the moment you reach for it, let's just say you go into the bathroom, the roll's on the thing, like on the spool, right? You run out, whatever, and you go to recharge. It's rare, I would assume. I, I don't think I've ever, like, put it on while I was pooping. That's just getting sat down while, until I finish my business. And then I probably will leave it there until I go back in or whatever, until it, re- it clicks, and I'm like, what am I doing? And I throw it on there. Okay. It's a sense of, like... Uh, and we get, you know, those the empty ones, too. For whatever reason, the, the, the trash can in the bathroom, like, never really clicked. Have you ever gone just you know wipes? I mean? Have you ever run into toilet paper, not, not replied it, not refreshed it, but the wipes are still in there? Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, I go, I, I, I've, I've done I like, all wipes. I need to wipes. dry off, I feel. Really? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm fucking slipping out of my seat. All juicy that. Yeah, I don't like it. That's why I like it. Uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do the wipes though. Really? No. Dude wipes. I don't know if I can say that. I don't think you're allowed to either. But I'm a fan. Are we? I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't say we are. Let's see where the chips fall. You know what I mean? Let's see where the turkey is. <laughs> I could be. Um. All right. This is John. Among your family photos on display, is there a photo of a relative at a random famous person's grave? <laughs> that is bad, dude. I and just thought about that you're yesterday. A fucking Randy Rhodes's fucking tombstone or something. That's a fucking tough look. Roddy Roddy Piper's <laughs> mausoleum. <laughs> uh, shout out to the Piper. I shout out to the no disrespect, obviously. Nothing. Um. I thought about that because I was listening to the Doors yesterday. I was getting that's ready. a big one. I think they still hold up, and we went to fucking Jim Morrison's grave in Paris. Yeah, that, and I thought that, that's trashy. Did you take a picture in front of it? Of course. Really? Yeah, doing fucking air guitar. <laughs> <laughs> fucking melting some faces over there, <laughs> babe. Fucking plug me in. No, uh, I don't know if we took a picture of that. I think we took a picture in front of Edith Piloff, but I think that's that's classy. Who's that? Is that a dessert? <laughs> A pilaf, isn't it? Is that guy coconut? <laughs> I mean, I knew you. I knew you're a big dessert guy, but goddamn, you're thinking of hunting, pe- down, <laughs> you're hunting down the inventor of your favorite fucking treat. It's the guy who invented the banana split. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy splits. I'm weeping at his grave, uh, like a widower. Um, you're thinking of pilaf rice. Yeah, this one. This is a French woman. Edith, I believe she's French. Edith pilaf. She was a singer. If I'm not mistaken, she's the one that sings the song. In- it's just weird. You keep saying I'm not sure. If I'm not mistaken, it's weird to go to the woman's grave that you don't know anything about. Well, she's famous, right? <laughs> the lady, the bird knows her. I thought she invented the pull and peel Twizzler. Yeah. <laughs> it was her idea to put the fruit Wait, by the did- foot. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna say fruit. Right Everybody on. else was doing it. She, she said, "Let's do it by the foot." <clears throat> no, the bird likes her. We went to a couple. There's, there's a bunch of famous people buried at this one at this at Paris Cemetery. Um, fuck. What was I gonna say? I oh, I believe she sings the song in Saving Private Ryan that they're listening to. Remember, 
She ah, sang it right. in French. I, I could be wrong on that, but she's one of those type people. She has that kind of vibe, that kind of voice. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that's garbage, man. That's garbage. Although, going to Graceland wouldn't be a bad idea. Go see the king. He didn't. I don't know. It never. I really? Guess. What? Oh, that was an Elvis fucking two days ago. Shout out to uh, Burning uh, Love. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's so. Johnny Cash? I understand Kenny that. Rogers. Mm, that's all so old person music to me. You don't want to go to the, the Hit Gambler's me with the Grave? Temptations. Smokey Robinson, who I've seen live in concert. I'll go to Smokey's Grave. Um, Smokey's- he died? No. That <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker owe me money. <laughs> nah, I think Smokey's all right. Little Richard, maybe? There you go. Now we're talking. There you go. I'm, I'm down. Let's go. We were more of a Motown family. Of course we up. were, too. We were Motown all the way. Right. Motown and oldies. None of that Beatles shit. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't think my mom even knows who the Beatles are. My mom and Patty was not a fan of the Beatles at all. You drop fucking... Or the Stones, to be honest with you. It was more old school. Yeah. Big Bobby Darren household. The broads like the old... The the crooners is what they're called. Yeah. They were crooners. Fucking cleaning up back then. Fucking Frankie Valley. Doing dances out at the lake. Just closing. Hopping an old Model T and... Model off to the T? <laughs> How old's your mom, dude? <laughs> That's a bad look. Boning a, she's just boning a guy with a Model T in 1955. <laughs> 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 On his way out of town. <laughs> she still runs to the door every time she hears one of those. Uh, this one's from Brian. Ever been arrested on a date? I was pulled over for speeding, then put in a holding cell for writing a bad check. My date bailed me out. I should have married her. Holy <laughs> shit. You fucking should have. You should have, man. That's a ride or die broad right there. First date. I mean, Yeah, I would have. I mean, he had a warrant out for writing a bad check. And they could. I was pulled over for speeding and put in a holding cell for writing a bad check. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he probably had a bench warrant out or something. Damn. I don't know. Something got jammed up. That's yeah. That's it right there. That's a bad look, man. That's, that's tough. You can't. You. But that's also one of those things. Like if she does stick around, then it's true luck because she's seeing you at your fucking worst. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. but she should have fucking married her. S- speaking of stories, if any listener has ever been put into the holding cell of a stadium, fucking send us that shit. Uh, yeah, a lot that, of Philly people have. Yeah, I'll tell you sure. that right now. For the sure. vets was famous. Mm-hmm. It was fucking famous. My brother's boy got sent down there for getting into a fight. We went to a Phillies game one time. Fucking nosebleeds at the vet with my dad on a Sunday afternoon. Or the was seven hundred level. Brutal. Yeah, that was, was a, that was a different that was a different breed of people. Oh, it's like the outer rim. The eighties and nineties Phillies were absolutely. That reminds brutal. me. I want to bring in the piece of the vet I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big rock. I don't know where we're gonna put it. I <laughs> guess. <laughs> I forget how fucking just Philly dirtbag I truly am. It's the am. batting cage. What my mom fuck? won't throw it out. It's been in my garage since the day oh, they blew it up. Oh, that's not getting tossed out. No. And she, yeah, I'm like, I remember you, we, oh, we're not throwing that. That's the retirement fund. We, <laughs> <laughs> that's my nephew's college. We had a piece of the Berlin Wall for a little while. My mom. In Berlin, New Jersey, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. No, you didn't. <laughs> None of you left the country until like fucking three weeks ago. A roommate of mine brought it back. From oh, Germany. Yeah. <laughs> he only charged me five grand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Berlin. It's the wall. <laughs> You're nuts. Man, you got bamboozled. Patty saw How many sh- magic beans did he give you, too? <laughs> uh, picked it up out front. Patty's telling everybody we got Sputnik in the garage. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Is it garbage if your dad, stepdad, and brother are all named Rodney? (laughs) (laughs) That's a. It's not a good look. Rodney's a good name though. Rodney's Rodney's a good one. And then what we were playing with at was it Pittsburgh? Randy. Randy's all right. Randy's are all. There's very few classy Randys, I would say. Did I ask the guy what Randy's the short form for? Like, wh- probably Randall. Rand- I mean, probably Randall most Stock. most Randys are just named Randy. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, which I is... keep forgetting about about uh Randall. But I would assume if you're rocking Randy, you probably you're probably a Rockin Randy. Rockin' Randy's is all right. <laughs> Your mom dated him. <laughs> Get a cream soda at that place. It short for Rockin Randy's. Randall Randolph as well as Bertrand and Bertrand. Andrew. I don't like when I don't like when they flip up the name like that's, that. That's, Randy's not short for Andrew. That's like old Southern shit right there. Uh-huh. Bertram. And no bueno. We should do a Patreon level where one of us has to legally change our name to Randy. <laughs> How much money would it take? I just but I don't have to go to the DMV. Ah, it'd be a pain in the ass. But I'd do it for free, guy. That's pretty. <laughs> it's a good it's bit. Pretty sweet. Yeah. You have Randy. to grow your hair out once you once you change your name to Randy. Randy Foley. Randy Ryan's all right. Oh, that's pretty good. No, Randy. No, Randy Ryan. We're on to something We're here. Randy Ryan sounds like a whore from high school. Hey, I'll go back. <laughs> I'll re-enroll, baby. I just picture like, uh, yeah, like uh, some like um, the Duke boys' cousin, whatever. Daisy Duke mm-hmm. has like a Randy Ryan kind of. Yeah. I only knew the Jessica Simpson version of it. Ooh, Duke's a hazard. Friday night, well, eight what o'clock. What year was that? I feel like you watched, you know. Duke's a Hazard. I remember watching in the prime reruns. time. Now in prime time. What year was that out? I was probably it was probably eighty eighty one. Really? I thought it was old. I guess I thought it was older. Yeah, probably eighty eighty one eighty two maybe. Yeah, that and Hee Haw. Watched Hee Haw all the time. What? Like? Oh yeah. First edition. I remember when the Muppet Show was on. We'd gather around the TV to watch those little fuckers. The way you talk, it sounds like it's in black and white. <laughs> you listen to fireside chats from the from Teddy Roosevelt or whatever. <laughs> Everybody get around the fucking transistor. Ronald Reagan's fireside chat. Yeah, the- Listen here. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to have a creative meeting. Fire my vocal coach. Yeah. And talk about up to date uh, <laughs> up to date impressions with H Foley here. Uh, That's funny. All right, now hit Jefferson. Go. <laughs> Fosh call ran out. Oh, uh, Louise. Um, all right, let's see <coughs> here. Uh, this is from Anthony. Uh, have you ever, have you or anyone you know gotten a gift card to a vape shop for your birthday? <laughs> Man, those vape shops are just not cool. Nobody's doing the big ones anymore, right? I th- I think it's, I think the jewels are, have, have taken, taken over. Yeah. And in New York, you can't do the fruity shit anymore. Uh, I, somebody just sent me something that they're outlawing all, uh, Vape style stuff. Like you're not allowed to like the jewels. Everything's gone. Really? In New York? No, I think like nationally they're pushing for it. It's got these kids hooked. These kids aren't smoking, but they're jeweling or vaping. All of them. Partying. And then that leads to heaters because that's like fucking analog jewels. You know, it's real old school shit. Get the real deal. So now all these kids are puffing fucking stingers. Space cigarettes. Yeah. You know who's loving that? Philip Morris. Yeah. Not me. I broke the mold. That's true. Kippy's been off the Bernies. Kevin Ryan's guide to quitting smoking. <laughs> Just give me ten grand and I'll tell you how I did it. Uh, this one's from Alex Tanello. Shout out to Alex Tanello up there in Bastin. Ah, Mr. Tanello. Shout, Shout out, out to Mrs. Tanello as well. Uh huh. Shout out to the Tanellos. Mm-hmm. Have you ever bought the floor model of a shoe? Yeah, recently. I just did it, yes. too. <laughs> it's a bad... You, you got to really look to see if it's faded. Uh, you feel like a dirt bag. I feel like there's mustard on it because you get, like, fucking mouth breathers coming from the food court. Oh, with yeah. general cells. There's definitely poop breath. particles all over that oh, shoe. Oh, yeah. That's no good. I don't... Uh, That's a real tough fucking look to do that. It really is. It sucks, man. They get you jammed up. They only have... What size are you? Uh, ten typically, depending on the depending on the model. Yeah, I go eleven and a half. They usually but use ten's that. typically the floor model. Yeah, that's where you get jammed up. Or like ten, ten and a half is like because that that looks proportionately normal, like a ten and a half, like mm-hmm. not on a body. You look at that and you're like, oh, I can picture myself in that. Yeah. If you put a thirteen out there, people are like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's a you place got a called, permit for that thing. Supposed to go checks. What's going on? Uh, the boots that you guys made fun of me for that look like lady boots, the ones I bought in Syracuse. They were lady boots that you bought in Syracuse, then yelled at me that you bought women's shoes for some reason. They were floor if that's, models. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when you were at a DSW, everything is a floor <laughs> model there. All right. <laughs> they got you in the back working. Uh, DSW. DSW stinks. Snakes. You can find a gem. I, fa- I have found a couple of gems. 
there. What's the deal with those places? They fall off a truck? What's going on? It's like the, te- is it, is it the it's is stuff it re- that hasn't moved elsewhere or is a bit defective, I would presume. <laughs> it didn't make the, you know. <laughs> Two left feet rolling around. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> Yo, you go in there get a set of ice crushers, dude. Some of those boots in there are heavy. Oh, some dude. of those hey. boots are out of control. Yeah. Snow boots have gotten fucking way out of hand. Uh-huh. Somebody's got to take them down a peg it, though. I get rid of their Twitter or whatever you got to do. I'm not climbing the Matador this weekend. Dude, right? I've seen pairs of those in dicks. Like, who, who are these for? A Wookiee? What's going on? It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Nothing on Wookiee. I mean, that was the most fucking 80s comic delivery I ever. What are these for all Wookiee? <sighs> all right, whatever. Uh, no, I'm saving it agree. for the rest of the show. What? No, I agree. I'm sorry. It was funny. Um, but DSW, it, well, this is my take. I'm not the, you know, I'm not the most stylish guy around. I don't claim to be. Okay. I, I claim, you know, shout out to the black t-shirts. <laughs> Uh, s- s- I wore a, I wore a gray one last week or two weeks ago. And someone goes, "Damn, Kippy's tropical." <laughs> um, Casual Friday. But I can dress. I mean, for this, it's whatever jeans and a t-shirt. I can dress to whatever situation. You don't got to prove yourself. I'll give it to I, you. You do sharing. have a little bit of an eye for fashion. Thank you. I go to you, Th- and you don't listen clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I just like I can operate in world. Sure. You know what I mean? I can go sure. to an event or whatever and not look like a fucking bozo, which I am. But use DSW to try to find something. Spe- you go there for a find. You go there for. You're not going there for your fucking everyday shoes or whatever. No, I only use those places if I'm if if the wedding's tomorrow and I fucking don't it. You gotta get shoes. Who's yelling at you? My mom. <laughs> your mom's. You're 46. Your mom's yelling at you about what she's reminding me that I need shoes. That the suits at the house, but you got to get shoes and a belt. That's the only time I go to DSW. That's night before the SATs. Sure. Or I'm sa- or I'm saying you can find some nice gems in there every now and then. Something that's typically not there. You get there for 50 percent off or whatever. I would like to start kicking dock siders again. The slipper, the slip-ons. Yeah. Yeah, they're not bad. A pair of Sperry's. Sperry's maybe, are all right. Maybe the light blue ones. I feel they'd be a little too yeah. small on you. It yeah. would look like you're wearing ballet shoes. Because you something. know those nice polo sneaks that I have, the white ones? Debatable, <laughs> but sure. What? That they're sneakers or that they're nice? That they're nice. They've started to bow out. Oh, yeah. They, they, they're leaning oh, heavy. Oh, when you know. I mean, like, you can tell a fat man is in them. It's like. Can't you buy wides? I don't want wides. I don't want to. No, what do you mean? Okay, I'm asking. I don't know. You're saying you're falling out of your shoes. No, I'm saying that they're so worn in that like you can like they've they've broken. Like the yeah, like, I know. I understand. I've running shoes don't do that. They got to really, really dig in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, tough look on that. Yeah. Bad when you when you when you're not in them. That's when you see it. Like when you see them over by the door, you're like, God damn, whose fucking shoes are those? Like they're mine. It's like two kayaks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cow was walking around in them, literally. And he was, uh, technically. Man. Okay. I'll do, a, I'll do about two more, something like that. Sounds good. This one from Jasper, $10. And we've touched on this before. Is it garbage to reuse grocery bags to carry your lunch to work? <sighs> it's a tough look, and I think it depends on your commute. Yeah. If you're on the subway and you got, you know, that's a tough look, I feel. If it's Tupperware in there, you can tell. Yeah, I just feel like a you. First of all, those bags have a shelf life of about from the store to the house. Now, if we're talking about the reusable bags they're giving out at the grocery store these days, I've seen you get on a plane with those. Goddamn right. Uh that's a little. Uh, only New York's doing that. That's a New York thing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. New York and maybe like Philly or something. Oh, they're sweet. Uh, I love it. So many Target does bags. them in New York. Yeah, no, I think Target does them everywhere. Well, the the, maybe, the reusable sure. Target bag, they're all right, man. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but I'm saying... You put anything in there. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I, I believe you. Um, the second you pull out, like, from under the sink, out of the bag, out of the plastic bag that holds the bag, it's like, it looks like it's, you fucking, you hit it with an egg beater. It's all fucking crimpled up. Yeah. You look, and then you're... The you're way expecting I look at, dog shit to be in there. Yes, exactly. The way I, I view it is, like, you're the way I feel. Like I'm walking out of the house. I'm going to work. I got my shirt, my tie, I, you know, a pair of slacks. I got my fucking 
my laptop, whatever. Kind of work to you, though. <laughs> I'm an international business. This guy's guy. dressed to impress. And then you're just carrying like a wrinkled bag with an orange and, you know, some penne vodka. And, it's, and you're like, <laughs> it just, it doesn't. Last night's you best, You look though. like a bozo. Yeah. I feel like it just ruins all the hard work you did of like doing your hair. Mm-hmm. I was like, I go, this guy is a schmelvin. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Hey, those cute little coolers now, those little soft coolers. That was all, yeah. That's tough for me. I have weird things with I can never take my lunch to school. Really? Real nerd shit. Why? I don't know. Even as a, even in a brown paper bag as a high school kid, throw it in your book bag, you don't got to think about it. No, we bought. I bought all the time. Man. Whew. Yeah. All right. I am what I am. And then those lunch boxes, they, would have, they all smelled the same. The even lo- as a kid, you didn't have a lunch box? I was doing Uber Eats, getting delivered. <laughs> no, I did, but I know we. I would brown paper bag it as a kid because I hated the lunchbox. I had a He-Man Fuck. one. I fucking loved it. No, the the lunch boxes were no longer cool when I. It was the lunch pouch. Like, yeah, you're fucking. You got that's. We talked about the this lunch too. pouch, like the Velcro. And they all, it was a kind of like a cooler. They fucking suck. Your generation did a lot of fucking wonk. They really upped everything. Like this, we talked about the cereal bowl with the straw in it. It's all I don't that think Nickel- that was my, I think that was after me. But it's all yeah. that Nickelodeon you kids were watching. Oh, I'm sorry, we weren't watching Hee Haw and fucking Gilligan's Island or whatever the fuck you were doing. <laughs> Good episode of Hill Street Blues. Sitting in on a live audience, a live taping of the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> Man. I literally wish I could like shoot a movie of how I picture your childhood at some of the th- some of the things you tell me that to me are like my mom experienced. You know what I mean? Like that's we're at an we're at an age where we grew up kind of like you uh, your upbringing was probably closer to my dad's than mine a little bit yeah because you just the t- advances in technology i think i think from the from when i was a low level of income <laughs> <laughs> yeah we didn't have cable what about it <laughs> pussy up there with rabbit ears <laughs> watching oh, hbo we only th- we had six channels up until he just did six channels he had six channels <laughs> Yeah, of course. We I mean, we I, we we still don't have cable upstairs. We didn't get cable until I was, I think, fourteen. Is when we got cable. Uh-huh. We had we we did have. I told you those movies back there. We had got HBO for like one day, and my dad recorded everything he could on the on the VHS, and bunch they canceled of real sex, it. I bet too. <laughs> A bunch of taxi cab confessions. <laughs> <laughs> he's down there Don't all touch night. That. He's down there all night like he was Kodiak, <laughs> fucking getting that thing done or Kodak. Um, fuck, what was I saying? Yeah, for the first from zero to like five, six, I think would be lean towards more towards your parents' generation, and then after that, once like the mid eighties, once the nineties hit, I think it makes it similar. But I was like fourteen, fifteen yeah, by then. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, it was old, dude. I remember. You asked me if I listened to Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Taste in music. It sure does. You say you listen to the Motown. Motown was he, Elvis and Motown existed at the same time. Sure. It was his later years when the pills. Yeah, got I up. mean they they still play Motown at weddings and stuff. They're not fucking. You can find Elvis. Elvis. What Elvis is a big hit. Suspicious Minds. At a wedding. When was the last, when was the last wedding you've been to, and they've played? Elvis and not Motown. I don't, I don't think I've ever been to a, a wedding where they played Elvis. I went to a wedding last week where they played Kentucky Rain. Where was this wedding? Rain. Down. I would have had to have been there. Down the street. <laughs> Walking by. <laughs> you guys got any Elvis back there? <laughs> Am I going, throwing it on so I can win a bet? <laughs> it's going to play the jukebox. Yeah, uh, it was It was real 80s. The first five, six years of my life was like really, you know, it was fucking. It was 80s. different. Yeah, it was different. It was real weird. I feel like everything was everything looked like old Cheers. Yeah, it was yeah. real poor eighties too. Yeah, you guys didn't have like fax machines and stuff. What? Yeah, no, no. We didn't have a telephone until I. No, I'm kidding. That reminds me. My mom tells the stories of they had the party lines where the half the block would be on the same phone. So that's wild. They would pick up the phone and then like they're like, oh, we got to hang up. The McMullins are on, and it's like, okay, let me know when you're done. There was only like two phone lines for the whole block. What? Yeah. Oh. That's what your stories feel feel when you tell me stuff. No. We weren't going down to the general store to get the news. Yeah. I mean, that was poor Philly. Just watching Mork and Mindy like a gentleman. Yeah. 
Uh, but let's wrap it up. We got to wrap her up, gang. Good stuff. It's been a hot one, baby. A fun one, a hot, silly one. Hot one, a fun one, gang. Uh, don't forget, August 11th, we're going to be in Red Bank, New Jersey. At Those the tickets Pacey will Theater. sell out. Going to sell out. I'm going to give you the heads up. Yeah. Make sure you get them. Mm-hmm. Grab a little merch. Have a good time. See you next week. We love you. Peace. Peace.